the other thing is that she's served the, she's on the library board, the, the city's library board. And she uh, uh, has been on that board for, for a while. She's probably going to have to curtail those responsibilities now with this new development. But she also serves on a steering committee for selection of the new Glendale Library, which I know Glen, the, the Glendale Library has been one of Ben's big uh, projects for many, many years. And uh, the, uh, the board had an architectural firm hired to make some recommendations on, on, uh, on what should go in the library, how it should be developed, and uh, also on siting the library. They, they were to uh, come up with a final report for uh, uh, evaluating the various sites throughout the community for the library. And uh, that hasn't come about. They, the the uh, architectural firm has never submitted their final report. And in fact, uh, the process kind of came to a halt before, it, it, once a, uh, an alternate, an additional site had been selected or not selected, been, been recommended for the library. And, and Ben's aware of that, I think, over here at Night South, mm -hmm. on, uh, across the river from the International Peace Gardens. Now, Isla Rose has been the proponent for that, for consideration of that site. I mean, the proponent. She's had, a, did she take you down to the site? I don't know. We went with uh, Beth Elder, Carlton, and I went down and down. Oh, yeah. Well, there have been, been a number of people visit the site, uh, including the architect, Wally Cooper from CRSA Architects. Mm -hmm. And he's, uh, uh, concerned that uh, there hasn't been a, a, an analysis of this site. There hasn't been a, an evaluation of it. And a comparison with the north property over in the, on, off of California. So, you know, it, it, it's, uh, Michael. So, you know, I saw, um, I heard something about this recently and so I went on the city webpage. And I did see a document on there that the city council looked at. I don't know, I think it's in a work session or something, but there's a document online and it's a January 31st or 27th, somewhere around there of this year, uh, uh, city council. And it does have pros and cons. And it had this really cool map, like about eight or nine different sites. And I thought I saw pros and cons on there for Ninth South versus California. So there is some type of analysis out there. I mean, I'm interested to... Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. What that was is we went out to the community steering committee and we hired a company to go and see what people wanted in the community and we found these sites. Actually, we looked at 11. If you look in the, the document, 11, okay. been, uh, adopted uh, and then uh, brought to city council. It's a big one. I haven't got it here. And uh, Archie Archie Lens pictures on a bunch of... It's online. Uh, it's a PDF. I don't know. Where it is. <laughs> but, but there's a lot of community people on there. And it has the pros and cons of all these uh, locations. We actually did look at this location as one of them, one of the 11 uh, in the initial stages. And so it's not like, it, it's not exactly a brand new idea because it was already on there, but it's coming back in a different form. I think it was driven somewhat by the streetcar. There was a streetcar well, I think planning was was driving it too because well, yeah, of the streetcar Ray, thing. Push it. And I met with Frank. We had the, when the idea came out. We met with Frank and um, all the planners, uh, Cindy from the council, Carl and myself, and we're all aware of that. That's that's what we're going to get.